Hey guys, Zoltan here and in this video we will take a look at the next uh, S3 cards. So we've already seen 2 megabyte of the Verge uh, card and I unfortunately don't have a 4 megabyte version. Well, what we have here is the S3 Trio 3D 2X uh, improvement over the basic uh, Trio 3D so they decided they forgot about the Verge brand which was successful between gamers and go with the really successful uh, 2D and these cards are really good at video acceleration and 2D and they have somewhat of a 3D performance so yeah and basically the improved Verge chips same architecture, some improvement, um, they should have alpha blending, multiplicative alpha blending and uh, AGP uh, interface, 2x and some support and um, system memory uh, texturing and this kind of things. So these will be the first AGP cards as well we're gonna test. Uh, not sure about the memory, basically these cards are usually came out with 8 max but as I can see the boards uh, they are missing memory modules or places for them as, uh, at least so they could be only 4 megabytes but that's fine uh, it will be around the sys card so we can go up to 800 by 600 and let's <laughs> we can see uh, how these cards performs compared to the word so they could be similar um, yeah, so I don't know what are the basic improvements. This is the latest card. Yeah, and this is the first one. Uh, black VGA or SVGA connection, and it has this new blue, but sometimes it's not related to age. And I have uh, age displayed here, so when I was actually bought it, uh, the shop put some kind of sticker in it, so these were my cards uh, as a first owner different PCs and setups fighter SPs and so on so it's from 1999 and this is from 2000 January and well uh, yeah it's 2000 uh, 7 months so it's uh, uh, July so yeah basically 2 years difference here uh, that's pretty cool. So 1999, April, uh, no, no, it's a seven months, it's July as well. So, yeah, so these cards, uh, basically, I believe they will perform the same. I think I will go with 3D Mark, see what the difference, and make uh, select the strongest one. I hope this one will be, and then uh, do all the game tasks as usual uh, with the strongest one and tell you what the performance difference between maybe just testing Quake or some other 3D mark and, and compare the performance. Um, yeah, I'm still not sure these cards are still working so maybe one of them or all of them won't work so it will be a short video then. Uh, but yeah, hopefully they are on working and we can test them. So. I hope you will enjoy this video and let's try them out and go to the tests. So let's summarize what we have here. So this is the uh, S3 Trio 3D 2X. Uh, I'm starting this introduction thing again because weeks passed since the well <laughs> uh, since the last few uh, minutes you have heard already. So whatever, I tried all of these three cards and this is the uh, first one, the revision one from 1999, so the original one and well it runs perfectly, it's, it's great and compared to the Verge it has some alpha planning capabilities and it's faster just a bit but it's still around the Verge uh, performance level. Uh, the second card that tried, the next revision, uh, was just beeping and whatever it tried, 
it was not working. I tried to remove some corrosion because I just uh, have it from a non-working Pantheon 2, I guess, and no, using alcohol editing to make it work, uh, I wasn't uh, successful, so yeah. And the third one, I had just uh, one 3D Mark test run on it, and it just, uh, well, it just uh, died after and wasn't able to do anything else. So, this is the <laughs> um, trial 3D card I can test, and I was trying to run LEGO Racers, but with wraps looks like it uh, crashes, so I will try it without fraps now, and LEGO Racers will be our first game. Well, as you can see, we have LEGO Racers running on the Trio 3D card, uh, unfortunately without fraps, and if you can see around the letters, the text, there are those black borders, and also on the car where it should be a uh, transparent part, well, it's still not, so alpha blending is still far from perfect, but at least uh, it runs. Uh, yeah, and if you remember the word version uh, here in the map as well, uh, no transparency. Uh, but yeah, with the verge we haven't even were able to see the, the menu buttons or anything. So they improved in it a bit, a little bit, but uh, well, it's still far from good. But at least it's it's working, and I'm also able to start my own match, which is which is great. Not sure what are the controls. Yep. So we just need this new. Oh yeah. So what the arrow keys. Um, the performance is is acceptable. I think uh, it is because of the CPU. It's it's quite good. Um, but yeah. Uh, some lag here. I can feel it. Yeah. But I would consider it a more or less uh, playable. I'm not sure I could want to match with his performance because, yeah, it's not that much, not really responsive, but still, I can drive away in another. And, uh, uh, maybe it was just my fault. And also, you can see as the level loads little chunks in the distance. But yeah, <laughs> from this tiny little card, um, yeah, it's a good improvement on the world. But in this time, there were the Wii and almost the Wii too, I guess. So well, <laughs> the world card is uh, or the try 3D is. Uh, really slow and really lacking features so yeah but it was extremely cheap compared to to the wood card so yeah that's the thing so let's let's move to the next game so this is insane and um, I have to show you the options so 320 by 240 uh, 16 bit colors, and we have 7 frames on the menu. Everything is set to the lowest, but the menu performances, as you can see, really horrible. It's slow and it has those uh, texture issues. And I um, keep pressing enter, and nothing so far. 6 frames, and this menu system is just trying to put itself together uh, yeah let me see not sure if it's uh, affecting the performance well, there used to be something to turn off animals and the trees yeah this is it if it displays uh, yeah, it's coming from the other side, and I don't need the trees, the water, or the replace or anything. And I think now 
because we are with the Pantene 3 um, it should be faster to load the game so let's hope we can do that quick race I said quick race but who cares right when it has to load the menus or not or it's just crashing no it's loading that's great and yeah it's definitely much faster than with the MMX at least oh well that's the word experience here do I have a car? yeah I'm saying word experience because it's totally the same um, yeah at least it has some graphics but the Triumph 3D is basically a word so we see nothing here uh, it's a horrible horrible card yeah, it's definitely not playable. The fabric would be acceptable, but it just cannot display this game. Uh, so, yeah, don't waste. Whoa, this is some bad texture rating. So, don't waste more time on this game and uh, quickly just uh, move to, well, Climax Rally now. So I've chosen everything to the maximum, but only 640 by 480 and as you can see compared to the watch card, it has the menus displayed right and everything on the HUD, which is great, but the trees and uh, other foliage is just extremely bad and also this is what that is, I don't know, and also the frame rate is or pretty bad, but at least the car is looking good. Uh, yeah, and <laughs> oh, those uh, lights on the car. Yeah, so well, it's not that bad actually to move around. It's using the default render, not the virtual one. And also, the draw distance is aren't set to the highest because. I somehow was just caught. Uh, well, okay. So, yeah, I will change some settings. And in this case, I set everything to the lowest possible and kept the resolution at 640 by 480. But because of the textures, it's still looking horrible. But the frame rate increased a bit. Still not. Uh, a little playable level and without the motion smoothness option which requires CPU I guess so I should have left it uh, on but still I wanted to set minimum and yeah it's, it's pretty horrible I'm absolutely sure what a lower resolution would make it around 30 so the performance is not much better than them with the watch, but the graphics is, is a little bit better, at least it's not a complete mess. So it's good, I don't want to waste uh, more time with this game and with this card, so yeah. Now uh, let's uh, move to, to the next game. So this is just a very small part where I wanted to test out a 2D game and it was a favorite. So yeah, Worms. Uh, Armageddon and as you can see it has fraps and okay so yeah come over run so 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 uh, not much to do here no funny options uh, of course I do. so and it's above 70 so it's close to the uh, monitors refresh rate and it's wind everywhere and fast camera movement and, and stuff and it's still it's really stable so well the S3 cards were always really really good <laughs> yeah was stupid moving really good with uh, with 2D and it still remained with the with the trial 3D and as you can see yeah it's it's really good also CPU helps uh, Let's see what they do. Yeah, they are much better than always. But it runs, it runs greatly, and new graphical glitches add also. So it's 
it's really good. Do we have something funny? Oh, I like the sheep. Just move. Yeah. Well, suicide the highest level. Okay, so let's uh, move to another one. And this time this is uh, to rock everything at the lowest and also 320 by 240 and as you can see we have graphical glitches still um, not as bad as Red Verge but well not much better any higher resolution or setting uh, can make it go down to well, my frame rate is now better, but it was around 9 and 11 in the menus, and I just considered it really bad. All of those textual loadings. And I don't hear any sound. Um, maybe I just disable it. Well, it's, it's pretty, pretty ugly. But it runs. I think you could mess with the settings to make it more playable. <coughs> uh, it was just uh, the speakers at uh, too low. So yeah, same as okay, but I just cannot navigate the map like this because well, everything works. Um, just trying to ah oh, so there were an enemy with the green green hair to type uh, not always green uh, so yeah it's just some cloak with the verge of those rocks and strange maps to see or lion or something strange and yeah, the plants are still bad, so yeah, improvements with the with the blendings, at least the text is, is okay, and well, some improvement, but still uh, pretty bad. But the performance is, is, is acceptable, at least I can move. Yeah, so this is to rock on the trial through the well, still a pretty bad card, yeah. Okay, so in this part, let's uh, just uh, discuss a few games with OpenGL. It will be really quick. So try the GL Quick, uh, Quick 2, Quick 3 and Sin as well, because they are basically using the same engine and they are OpenGL. Um, yeah. Um, cannot load OpenGL. Basically, this is the message of those OpenGL games. I've seen Anantec was able to use some kind of drivers to run OpenGL games uh, with the Verge, so possibly with the uh, Trio 3D as well, um, but I'm not really successful running any OpenGL game with this card, so the next will be the Unreal games and I hope they will work away in another. So, Let's just quickly take a look at uh, what performance we have in 3D Mark. So this is the Verge score, and with the Verge, new 3D Mark uh, was able to run through the test because the second game test in 3D Mark 99 just uh, uh, freezes. Uh, yeah, freezes the whole computer, and 2,000 requires for max, and um, I don't know something like that. Uh, yeah, I think I had the same issue with the Try 3D, but it was able to run 3D Mark uh, 2001. So in 614 by 480, we got the weapon score of 365, and I was able to run uh, the other revision of this card for just one benchmark, and it was around 420. So yeah, the newer revision. Could be a little bit faster, but still in this uh, range of scores, is, is not much. And if I increase the resolution to 800 by 600, which is 
calls this core and 2001 which is really interesting that it was able to run the game tests I think it was a skip test as well but still it was, was running ok and with really low frame rates but it got a score of a 79 and also we got yeah again half the score uh, 45 and maybe I will start it to do a little uh, showing where we had and just for comparison uh, with this discard in 3D marked it as one it wasn't working but instead of like 300 or something whoa yeah this is card is the only yeah it's no 3D marked it as a score and in 99 is this is slower so well they did something with the 3D, it's really, but compared to the last code, the Banshee if it's almost 5000, so it's like 10 times the performance, but yeah, it's a Banshee, it's a, it's a faster new one card, but still, yeah, great difference. So, let's hope we can do a little of the, the demo here, and just to have some frames put everything to, to brutal low and use the software TNL because yeah this card are not TNL capability yeah looks really excited that is able to render into textures so yeah new demo here because it requires some features we just can't Provide. So we we'll see the low detail car chase test with the lowest settings and well just to have a look at how it looks uh, of having <laughs> such a low score. And yeah we have issues with the hub and I can't tell the frame rate either but it's like uh, around one or two frames and it was around three and in many cases like here it's like just a four or five seconds to get a single frame <laughs> and the test is, is over so uh, if I can exit the test and this high will be worse but I already passed the as a button so well <laughs> Yeah, and it's an AGP version of the card, so basically there's no reason to use this card because you can find any old retro card into AGP, so if it would be... Oh, it's high details and not realizing that I pressed the ask so far, so... Uh, yeah, it's better than the words, but still, it's, it's far from it. Okay, well, I'm no, 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 sorry. Um, I'm looking this through the camera. I want to do result browser. I'm not sure if I can take a look at the test scores. Maybe these 3D marks are not displaying in new, just uh, newer 3D marks. I was able to see how it performed and any of the tests it ran, but maybe I uh, yeah, need internet for this. So that was 3D Mark and OpenGL, um, yeah, with no luck. So let's go and see the Unreal games. So this is uh, Unreal Gold running on the S3 Trio 3D and I'm not sure about the exact uh, settings, but possibly it's around the minimum settings and I think it's kept the 800, and, uh, 800 by 600 resolution. The issue I have with the actual settings, if I want to check them, I only see these black uh, boxes, so it's pretty hard to exactly know what we are set to. I could go to the Unreal any file and check the settings or modify them but basically I don't think it's necessary because um, as you can see the performance is around uh, 4 frames per second 
and also those alpha plants are extremely bad, but uh, it's an improvement over the Verge, because with the Verge we only have soft render. Uh, well, with the Pentium 3 it was smooth, around a uh, stable 20 frames, uh, but a bit more pixelated, of course. So, yeah, the Trio 3D is worse than the software render with the CPU, but at least uh, it runs in uh, direct 3D. And compared to the Sys card, um, it was running in a low resolution, but basically without uh, great graphical glitches, without all those uh, black uh, textures, uh, but it was around just uh, 12 frames in average, so, well, neither of those these cards uh, is actually good for our rail, so, yeah, the Banshee was the greatest uh, so far. But it's, uh, it's good to see what we have here, so, let's just take a quick look at uh, Dexys D, because this uh, is my favorite uh, deathmatch map, so let's see how it performs in actual game. Okay, so it took a while to actually find this level, because uh, no preview images uh, are visible, just a black background, so it was really hard to find this map, I just started every map one by one, and yeah, this was the fourth or fifth of the levels. Um, yeah, so uh, some of you suggested that uh, these uh, frames are maybe not bright, and I have to rewrite the time demo one command. So I just do that and and see how the frame rates are going to better. Uh, I mean, yeah, it might include the average, might include the the flyby demo, but well. It isn't really improved, so yeah, we're around average of seven, and not so great. Uh, I wouldn't consider it uh, a playable on the Trio 3D. Oh, uh, the zooming is horrible. Well, the textures are somehow sharper than it than they were with the Banshee. I'm not sure it's if it could be, but. If these textures are greater resolution than uh, uh, 256 by 256, then yeah, it's possible because this card is actually, I think, it's able to support larger textures. Maybe uh, 1024 by 1024, not absolutely sure, but yeah, the textures are pretty sharp. Uh, I wouldn't bet on it, but. Yeah, that's what I see. <laughs> Maybe it's because uh, there are no light maps and I only see the textures, but yeah. So, this is the unplayable Unreal on the Trial 3D. Well, at least it runs. That's, that's a good thing. So, let's go and see Unreal Tournament on Deck 16. Okay, so this will be a pretty short part because whatever I said, <laughs> I can set direct 3D and it also offers the glide mode, but looking at the textures and looking at the performance, you see this is a point sample, uh, it's really viewable on the gun, and the average frame rate around the 20s, so it's definitely the software render, so, and everything looks good, so... Yeah, it's a direct to support, but no, it's not. I guess that the software and everything is the exact same. So I think for some reason Unreal Tournament is not running uh, properly with this. So let me just try once more to, to include something. So it's detecting and it goes for the 3DFX Glide for some reason. And why? Uh, okay, it's fine. And um, yeah, it's too high, and then it will give an error and revert back to software. Uh, with Direct 3D, there is no error message, but still, it goes back to to software render. So yeah, it's it's definitely the software. So no real Unreal Tournament gameplay in with this card. In an yeah. to so control let's see. UT 2003 and 4, maybe they will just boot up and they will be horrible, but at least uh, we will see them.
Okay, so both OT 2003 and 4 gives um, give an aerial message. Uh, the OT 2003 is a more detailed one, but none of them runs. So, yeah, it tries to load. I tried safe mode, other settings. OT 2004 uh, safe mode, uh, I mean, uh, the software render is actually working, but uh, obviously it does. Uh, yeah, no to direct 3D render is available, so I think this card is just, um, yeah, too old to play these games. I'm not sure if I had any better results with the words. I don't think so. Um, yeah, maybe it's because it's uh, 4 max or just uh, 3.5 megabytes. I think the sys card was able to, to run it uh, with a really bad uh, settings but yeah with bad performance as well but it was running um, all I wanted to show you is those assist drivers that are actually looking uh, pretty nice so you have some settings on the colors uh, gamma and refresh rates for different uh, resolutions so yeah uh, it's a pretty useful maybe or, or nice setting to to just include it so yeah so at least the drivers are, are nice and the 2D graphics is really great. Uh, one more thing I will show you is that it only displays uh, 3.5 megabytes. And then wanted to check out just to make sure that because days are passing since I'm doing this video. And yeah, no 2D Mark, uh, 3D Mark 2000 score because it's uh, just saying uh, yeah it requires 4 megabytes and it should be a 4 megabyte, but it's a 3.5, so uh, nice 70 feeling here. Uh, yeah, requires 4 max. So, yeah, basically, they are always doing this. So, guys, this was the last iteration on the Verge uh, graphics architecture uh, with the Trio 3D 2X, and yeah, it was. A little bit better words. They improved a few things. So there are some games you can start with this card and not with the bird, but they are not enjoyable. So those days, if you wanted a very very cheap card or just it came OM, um, you had some 3D and it was great. But basically, they use these cards to a 2D card and then place a Voodoo or a Voodoo to SLI. Uh, with these cards and uh, yeah it was a good combo because you had nice uh, uh, 2D graphics and a great uh, 3D but later they just uh, used other strong uh, direct 3D or OpenGL card and used the glide with the Voodoo card so yeah what we are not saying goodbye to, to the S3 cards cause uh, as I mentioned before I have this card this is a Savage 4 I'm a bit sad I haven't wasn't able to acquire uh, a Savage 3D. Uh, this is a new iteration on that chip, so this is the Savage 4, and they just uh, sold it as a 32 megabyte card with a different picture. And unfortunately, it's only 16 megabyte, and it looks uh, completely different. Uh, the other card uh, was. A larger one and it's uh, it's pretty small with a really small heatsink so yeah it was kind of a rip-off but it was a really cheap oh, let me just calculate in mind it was around five dollars so, uh, so it's not bad price and I hope it will work <laughs> I wasn't able to test it and this was uh, this will be our new uh, test subject and it's some kind of uh, gluey thing on it, so I will clear it, uh, yeah, so it needs some cleaning, it's not that bad, I already used a toothbrush to make it cleaner, but still something on it, okay, so this will be our next card, I will talk about it in the next video, and maybe one day we will have a Savage 2000 as well, which will be totally different, okay, but enough for this video, thank you so much for watching, I'm not planning to test anything else on this card, because it was, uh, yeah, it sucked. But maybe later, or if I have comments to to test something and it should run and it will be interesting or anything, I, I will do switch back and, and test this card. So, 
yeah thank you so much once again for watching and please uh, subscribe like uh, share maybe and those kind of things and dislike if you hated it but just please tell me why um i maybe can improve so thanks once again for watching and bye bye